Uh, how's it going? It's uh, Monday, uh, President's Day, and I'm uh, going to the foundry tomorrow. Today, I, I forgot that this is a holiday, and every place I need to go to is closed today, so I'm going to uh, go tomorrow. I got this uh, last week from uh, Trueform Armatures. I'm just going to go ahead and open up the box right now. I'm not going to do anything with it. It's cold in here. I'm in my studio now. I'm, uh, I just started moving back in today. It's going to take me a, about two or three days to get completely moved back in before I can start sculpting again. I decided to get back in here because I got to thinking about that half Lysa and trying to get it out of my house, that little dinky room that I work in, and it just wouldn't work out. And I didn't want to take a chance of wrecking what I spent so much time creating, getting it out of the bedroom, so I decided it's time to get back in the studio and start using the heat here. It's cold in here right now, but that's because the heat's been off fall, winter, and uh, so I just hate this popcorn stuff. It sticks on everything. So let's uh, open this box and see what's What's shaking? I better get me a trash can to put this stuff in. See if I can just lift it out without having any problems here. Okay, that's a human figure. I'm not sure what size it is. I think it looks like a 24 incher. support for it. Oh, okay. And this is the uh, 36 inch uh, figure. I'm unveiling for the first time anywhere that they just came out with. And here it is. Is that not amazing? With all the features that the uh, large one has, this is a hard uh, foam or uh, rib cage, but all the bones and everything are just exactly like. The, the larger one. Let me go get the larger one and I'll show you the difference or what the little difference there is. Okay. This is their bigger horse and the head is still covered in, in, in wrapping but here's the new horse they just came out with and that is just amazing to scale up from that. Wow. Well, I'm going to show you more about this uh, later on this uh, coming week when I finally get moved all in here and I can show you some stuff about it. Uh, but uh, this is just a wet your whistle, guys. Yeah, I'm going to uh, also show you a video, do a video on how to maneuver or manipulate the uh, joints on these uh, armatures. Uh, I'm going to show you a proper way of uh, bending your joints on all these figures. Uh, the next video I do on this. So anyway, that small horse armature is the first one, and uh, yeah, that's the uh, armature for the, uh, the small horse here. That's so you can hold up the horse. All right, I think I got everything out of here. Do a quick feel through. Yep, that's it. I'm gonna close this box back up. All right. Keep them. I have much of this stuff in here rather than having it flow around out there around the studio. Which it wants to do. All right, that's going to be it today. Like I said, I'm moving back in my studio slowly because I hurt. And uh, it's 
just not going to move as fast as I want to, but I just need to get back in my studio. It's nice to be back in here. It really is a lot more room than my bedroom. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Uh, well, I don't know if I'll video tomorrow or not. Uh, I got to go to Bozeman. I'm taking the uh, two uh, clays to the foundry, the uh, 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 forebears and the uh, uh, worth many horses clays. Uh, get them started to be cast in bronze and then I'll finish moving back into here getting this place straightened around a little bit so I can get my stuff set up and then I'll be back on uh, Captain Lovewell's sculpture. I'm going to put this out in the car and take this to the dump.